After building hundreds of custom trucking websites for fleets across North America, I can tell you that most people have their websites built wrong. By the end of this video, I'll also show you how you can build a beautiful custom design website for your trucking business on your own in less than 30 minutes, which will bring you truckloads of drivers and customers on autopilot. In the early 2000s, when the internet was just becoming more popular, people were like, if you had a website, wow, you have a website? And now if you have a business, and you don't have a website, people are like, what, you don't have a website? Now, if I bring 100 trucking companies with a website and ask them, how many of you are getting drivers and customers through your website consistently every day? Only maybe a fraction will say yes. The problem is that most websites are built like brochures. You will have a million different links to click on to get to where you want to go. And the sad part is that these websites don't do anything. Most visitors will leave because they can't get the answers or information they need to take action on your trucking website. Let me show you what I mean. So most trucking websites, they're built something like this. They will have their homepage right here. They'll have the logo. And then they'll have a whole bunch of like buttons here. And then when you click on this button right here, it will open up a whole bunch of more menus. You click on this button, services, it will open up a whole bunch of more, more links to click. When you click here, it will take you to warehouse, this, that, and everything. Way too much info for things that can be simplified easily. Why am I drawing this point is because it works against the human psychology. A human brain is always trying to simplify things so it can quickly understand what it is trying to say. Have you ever gone to a website where you read the entire site and you went to every single page about their business? You're just quickly skimming through this. You're just looking at the highlights, most likely the images, the logos, the graphics. That's what we're, we are more drawn to because it's a way of simplifying information. So most trucking companies get it wrong and it's not their fault because all the websites are done by a designer, like a web designer who doesn't understand a trucking business. They don't understand that there's a big shortage of drivers. It's hard to get drivers. Right now, with the way the freight market is, you need more customers, they're gonna go on your website, see if you're an asset-based business or your brokerage, how, much your, uh, how many of your assets are available, what kind of trucks you run. So the way you present your information is very important and a designer is not gonna be able to do that. They may, look some, they may give you something that looks pretty, but it's not gonna function well for you. What you do need is a more simplified version. Now I've consulted trucking companies who've spent over 150, 250, even $80,000 on a single website with like 16 pages, then it was just a self ego boost. And I've simplified it down to like a five or six page website and they've gotten more customers, more drivers, more hires through this model and system. Let me show you. So it's just a simplified way of doing this. What you do want to do is you put your logo and you have your links about us. How did you get here? what you have to offer like services, contact, and then for drivers, you always wanna do apply. And you could be like drivers apply. Simple and easy. And on the home page, what you wanna do is, you always wanna post or put pictures of yourself with the truck. And then welcome the visitor like as if you would in person. The goal of a website is really you digitally being present 24 seven open as a shop telling people that, hey, you're more than welcome to know about my business, this is what I have to offer, and here's how you can get in touch with me to get this physical good or a service. That's really what you're doing. So don't write it as a third person. Hey, welcome to our site, here we do. Make it more personalized. One thing that I see all the time happen in this structure, in this wrong structure here, is they will, you will see like a lot of the trucking websites, they'll have pictures of trucks. Trucks, 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 trucks. We are going to a trucking company's website. We know we're gonna see trucks. But what I do wanna see is human faces and not stock pictures. Try avoid any kind of stock pictures. Take pictures of trucks, but have some person in that photo. Why am I suggesting a person in the photo? Is because when you have a human face, it builds trust. That's how the human brain works. If you know someone, if you've seen their face, if you can see their eyes, it's, way, it's a way more trustable site 
than just stock pictures of the trucks. Now the algorithms out there like Google and all those, they can see if your website has pictures that are unique and they belong to you, or these are pictures that have been taken from the stock image library on, on the web and they've been slapped on here. So they're gonna always rank the websites that have native real pictures of the trucking business. Cool? So you could have a picture of you in front of the trucks and say, welcome, dear customer or driver. We're happy to welcome you. Here you'll find out more about what we have to offer and how we started. You can look at our About Us page to learn more about where we started, services to what we have to offer, and other things that we offer as a business. Please sure, uh, please be sure to say hi to us at this email. So you could put an email or a phone number. So it's a direct contact as well. That's all you need to have on the homepage. That's it. You don't need to have 10 different things and 10 different logos and all that kind of stuff. You're just making it complicated. I have a trucking company in Arkansas right now who have a three-page website. They have over 230 trucks. They've had a three-page website for last two years and they've never had truck open. They've grown by 50 trucks in the last one and a half year just by having a three-page simple website. And before that, they had this who they paid thousands of dollars to a designer or a web agency to build this. Now the next thing in About Us, what you wanna do is have like almost like a timeline from where you started and where you are today. So let me show with you what I mean by that. So you have your About Us page and here you can write your story. You can even look at mine that I have. It's very similar structure. You have like the year where you started. So let's say you started in 2010. You put a picture of your truck and you when you first started. So then you put in like milestones. Don't have to put every single year, but put milestones. In 2020, you got from 10 trucks. Now you got up to 300 trucks or whatever it may be. And then where are you today? Why do we do an about us page? Because people want to do business with people at the end of the day. They want to know that behind a business is a human being, a family, a person who's running that business. And another business want to connect with that human being to know that, hey, this business is trustable business because it's owned by this trustable person. It's all interconnected. Even though you're doing business to business, it is still all interconnected. Now services. This is where a lot of trucking companies go wrong. So under the services page, what they'll do is, if you have a few different divisions, like let's say you run dry vans, you run flatbed, you run reefers, they'll have like a drop down every time or where warehousing, they'll have like a drop down. As soon as you hover over with your mouse here, they'll have a drop down of like, warehousing, this, that, and then drill into this page and drill into this page and drill into this page to learn and read just one little paragraph about your warehouse. It is so stupid, you don't need to do all of that. That just confuses and is hurting you more than it's helping you. Let me explain why. Let's say you run three different kinds of trailers, flatbed, drive-in, and reefers, okay? And you also do warehousing. If somebody comes here, they're gonna click on, if they're only interested about dry van, they're gonna click here. They may see these options, but they're gonna try to look for what they're looking for, right? Because remember what I said earlier on, a human brain is always trying to simplify things so it can digest and get the info it needs. So it's gonna try go to dry van, they're gonna read about what you have and then move on. Okay, most of them. Now, if you have this all consolidated into one long page, this is how it's can, it can go. Your headline would go something like, you would put a headline, you would say, we run four different divisions. And you would say dry van, open deck, um, warehousing, and reefers. Like in bold, like, you know, you're just putting information as simple as possible. You put a photo of your dry van trailers, you talk about like, you have GPS tracking, whatever it is, like all the great things that you have to offer as a fleet that, are, that cannot be commoditized. You know, they're GPS tracked, real-time updates about your load, all that kind of stuff. Same thing with reefers. You talk about like, hey, we carry 18 reefer trailers and most of them are two years or newer. Like older, no older than two years, right? And we, we try to cover lanes from Minnesota all the way to California. Then the next down here, you could be like, we also do open deck. We can support up to 110,000 pounds. I'm just making this up. 110,000 pounds of load. And then if you have warehousing, you can also say, hey, we have 30,000 square foot of temperature controlled warehousing here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. 
and we can support customers all over in the Midwest. Just basic, simple info, what you hear from customers. You don't need some special, beautifully third person written copy in it. When I use the word copy, I mean like the text that goes here. As simple, as simple possible. So you need to put your website together in a, in a sense that even a fourth grader could read your website. And then on the contact side, you just have a simple page that has your address, right where you are, a phone number, and a little form where they can reach out to you. Name, email, and a message. That's it. You have a little tiny form. Now don't worry, I'm gonna actually show you what this looks like in real as well. So I'm just giving you an overview on the whiteboard right now, but I'm also gonna show you and give it to you this exact framework. So you have that, and some of you may have a fancy feature where you can embed a map of where you are. That's it, you have four pages and you're pretty much done. Now for drivers, what you wanna do is, you wanna create a page that has a video of you at the very top and you could say, welcome drivers, we're always looking to hire great drivers on our team. Here's what we have to offer. Here you have that video. Now what you need to do with that video is, just take your cell phone out, put it out like this, and talk for two minutes what you have to offer to a trucking, um, as a trucking business to a truck driver. Hey truck driver, we're super excited to have you here. This is what we have to offer as a business. We, offer, we, we hire minimum two years experience, base CPM is 50 cents per mile, yada, yada, yada. Put all that info out there. Even though you may be hesitant, like I don't wanna put my pay out there on all that kind of stuff, nobody cares. Your competitors are not gonna come and steal that info from you. You're giving all the info to a driver that he or she is gonna call you uh, and ask you for, okay? So when you put all that information out there, the driver that's gonna come to you is gonna be pre-educated, already sold, has a lot of information about your business, it's gonna be a more educated, lead, which is warm, wanting to make a decision. And how do you collect that info? You have like a simple form right here, and it asks if they have a license, how much experience, where they live, phone number, and email. That's it. And then here, if you like, you can put some pictures of your trucks, and then talk about the kind of trucks you run. You can talk about the lanes, the lanes that you run. You can talk about the money that you can earn. You can talk about any other thing that you would like to do. I have taken so many trucking companies who had like this big complex thing over here, move them over to this. You'll be surprised with 300 trucks or 200 trucks and they've done well, hired more drivers, gotten better customers. Now on the services side, for your customers, the great thing about this is if your customer only does, only is looking for drive and info, they're gonna also remember when they read through this, just the way you've written info, that you also have these three things because they're right in their face down below. And next time when they have a need for something like that, they'll be like, oh, John, who we give dry van loads to, I know they have a warehousing uh, offering as well. Maybe let me call them because I do business with them already. Maybe they can cover some of our warehousing things. But over here, they may just glance over it and just go to what they wanna know. When you present the info all in front of them, it helps them make an educated decision and even know more about your business. One thing you can also do here is put your salespeople's email or your dispatch team's email, or your operation team's email. Hey, if you would like us to move a load for you or would like a free code, please email us at sales at abctrucking.com. That's it, simple. You don't have to make people jump through 10 hoops to get simple information from you. Now let me show you how this website actually looks on computer and how you can customize it easily just the way I showed it to you on the whiteboard. Now before we do that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. So this is how your site will look like on the computer in real. So as I said to you, this is your logo right here. Three quick little buttons of about us services contact, literally how I showed you guys on the whiteboard, and then drivers, driver info, however you wanna na name it. You could put drivers apply now. And you could say welcome to ABC Trucking, Put a picture of your truck with your face in the front. This is still, again, a stock, just to show you guys, but do not do this. You wanna have like a photo of you or a picture of you with the truck. Same thing here, like maybe you put a special message. You can even delete this section, be like, hey, special message or welcome to ABC Trucking. Put some of the awards here. If you have any awards, you just put them up here, like pictures of them, right? Like best fleets to drive for, or maybe you've been awarded safely. Anything that you have that builds 
approve or you're part of a trucking association, it will help you do all that kind of stuff. And then put in like your transportation specialist and what areas you serve and write a little bit about it and a photo of you with the trucks or your driver with the truck. Do not use a stock picture. I just have it as filler to give it to you and show it to you where these things go. And this section could be for drivers. Now, if you don't have any of this, it is totally fine. You could just have one little thing like this on the home page. It will not look weird. You're actually helping your customers and drivers to be able to find the info that they need. This is geared towards more customers. This is geared towards more driver. And that's pretty much it. And then your social links if you have any platforms. Now, on the about us, trucking is in our blood. Use a line that works for you. Be like, trucking has been, um, we started in trucking in 19... 99, 2005, 2013, put a picture of your old truck with your photo with it, your old pictures, all that kind of stuff. And kind of like a timeline, what I shared, right? Like any big milestones that you had to go through, 80s, 90s, whatever, and then today and tomorrow and going upward and whatever. And what you can do is, depending on what you're after, like some trucking companies want more freight at the moment. Some companies want drivers at the moment. You can have some buttons like this. This is pushing them to go and drive for us, like ap apply as if you want to drive for us. So whatever you are wanting, you can kind of change your site depending on the season that you're in of your needs, right? It doesn't have to be set in stone, any of that stuff. Now on the services side of things, I'll show you the services page. You can then put in what are you specialist of? Again, a photo of you. And from our founder, I would like to show you how we keep take care of our of your temperature control shipments. Use some of these lines that we've written here for you. Any awards that you have, any video that you want to put on, maybe you take a video of your trucks and be like, hey, this is our beautiful truck that we just got with the trailer hooked up, leaving for a customer from here in Sioux City all the way down to Florida. And we're, we are very proud of our equipment and I want to just give you a quick tour. Maybe you do a one minute video, no editing required, no nothing. It will make any customer that comes to this site who's consuming this, they're already going to think that they know you. And then the second thing that's going to happen is they're going to know that what kind of equipment you have, they're, they're going to feel like they already have a relationship with you almost. Think about like when you have like a famous celebrity, you watch their movies, but how many times have you really met them in person? But you feel like you know them because you've consumed so much of their uh, movies or clips online. Same thing goes here. So the more the customers can get to know you from a distance, the easier it's going to be for them to do business with you because they trust you. They feel like they already know you. And we want to do business with people that we know, right? Um, write down your trucks, trailers, what you have to offer, what brand of truck you run. You can even put their logos here. If you have any maintenance facility, you take a picture of that, right, from outside or inside, put two pictures here, all that kind of stuff. You can even write down where you run. What does your main wheelhouse look like? And if you want them to request a free code from you, you can put a little form here too. I will give you this website for free, which I've charged companies thousands of dollars to actually build this. This site really here, we've charged thousands of dollars to trucking companies to build this. It's available for you to free download and then plug in your pictures. And within the website, I'll also send you free videos on how to customize this and go in there and do it all on your own for free. No problem. But I just wanna give you the framework so you don't get scammed or you pay thousand dollars to an agency and figure out that our site does not do anything for us. It's just stock pictures and there's no real good info that's gonna help us get more drivers and more customers. And then on the contact, you go and put pictures of your trucks again if you want with people in it. And then if you have multiple terminals, you talk about it, put the hours, you put the address, contact, phone number, where the terminals are, even embed a map of it. And if you want a little form where people can reach out to you, their name, email, phone number, a message, captcha, and submit. That's it. And then when you click on driver info, you could have a page like this, where you have a little video, as I explained on the whiteboard, again, you go out and you say, hey drivers, we are looking for talented people like yourself. If you're interested in driving for a company that pays over 60 cents per mile, we'll take care of you on the road. We do specialized heavy haul or reefers or dry vans here. We're looking forward to good, hardworking drivers like yourself to come join our team. Uh, click the button below to apply with us now. Simple thing like that, again, it's gonna build trust with that driver that they already kind of know you. If you're the owner, or you're the recruiter doing this. 
you just take that little video slap it here I put one for your reference or example so when you download this template for yourself you can actually watch this video of me that I've done it with countless trucking companies people with 300 500 600 trucks who follow the exact same framework and have hired more drivers than know what to do with them they click on this button and it will give them a form to fill out to submit an application to you and you can put a little paragraph too hey dear driver like this is why I'm looking for you if you have things that you have to offer like great trucks great mileage great bonuses great CPM great home time you put those here like great home time and talk about how soon you get home the more you can educate a driver before coming to you the higher the chance of you bringing them on board because they already feel like they know everything about your business and they come pre prepared warm all that kind of stuff still not convinced this is for if you have time and you employ any kind of drivers I would actually record little videos from them hey John can you tell me why do you stay at our business what keeps you here take their video plug it in here it will give them social proof a potential driver looking at your current drivers that hey if these drivers are happy and they're saying that how good this trucking business is then this business is good drivers tend to trust another driver than you trying to tell them what you have to offer as a business and then pictures of the trucks and then you put a picture of yourself or your recruiting manager your recruiter whoever is doing the hiring preferably if you're a small trucking business the owner should put their picture so if there's more fem, um, famil familiarity and also the drivers feel like they know you cool and same thing if you click on this it will help them fill out the form this form comes to you so you can determine if this driver is the right fit for your business now this template is available for you to download in the description below free and you can customize it how you want it uh, the way you want it so you can have a beautiful yet functional a dry uh, a trucking website that brings you drivers and customers consistently day after um, anytime you send anybody to your site if you found this video helpful and want to recruit qualified drivers for your trucking business i've included a link in the description where you can reach out to me personally thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video